contributions to uh, Indian sense, which is my specialty. Uh, it's, it's basically a labor of love. And uh, when you really get inter interested in coins, uh, it just flows naturally to uh, want to contribute and add to the knowledge base out there. Uh, and, uh, well, it just is fun, part of the fun part of the hobby. So uh, I, don't, I don't think of it as any additional work. <laughs>the future uh, people are looking online for their information and uh, I see a, a, a bad trend actually of people trying to get information from places like YouTube and they get uh, uh, non-specialist information they get uh, information from people who are who don't really know what they're talking about and I see this a lot because people come to me with questions and uh, uh, things that they've discovered on YouTube and they're totally off base as far as what uh, they should be looking for. Um, and uh, so I think um, there's a, a lot of disinformation or bad information out there that people really need to um, watch out for. Uh, and also that we need a lot more good information getting out there easily to uh, uh, people uh, online uh, and not for a fee or anything, just so they can search on it. And uh, so uh, I think that's where the future is uh, on, uh, and it's a kind of a challenge for all of us to try and uh, get the information out there uh, on how to collect properly, uh, how to avoid problems, and uh, uh, say in the realm of variety collecting and error collecting, uh, try and uh, uh, teach the the new people coming up uh, what they should be looking for and what they shouldn't really be looking for. So uh, anyway, and that can all, that's all online, not, not so much books. Well, as far as uh, got me started in coin collecting, I guess uh, my love of money. <laughs> we, um, uh, and uh, I found that there was a, a a lot of interest in uh, uh, coins when I uh, first was uh, exposed to it. And uh, at the time, the, the, the rising value of silver uh, didn't hurt either. So that kind of drove things. But as far as getting into business uh, on my own, uh, it's actually uh, kind of difficult to, to do. Uh, with me, I had the help of uh, mentors and uh, actually, the person I worked for at the time uh, helped me get started. Uh, just to give you a little uh, background, I worked for a, a dealer named Elliot Goldman back in the late 80s. And uh, he actually gave me $50,000 of his inventory to uh, begin my coin dealer, uh, begin uh, being a coin dealer. And he gave me a year to pay him back. <laughs> And I paid him back and made money moreover uh, during that year. So that got me uh, financially started because I didn't have much to begin with. And uh, having a book uh, just coming out helped too. But not everyone can start that way. Uh, so you really, um, uh, to really start professionally in this business, it's probably best to work for someone and learn all you can from them and then when you think you're ready, uh, dip your toe in and uh, try, give it a try, because it's, it's kind of tough. The Eagle Eye Photo Seal I started back in uh, 1996 uh, for uh, Flying Eagle in Indian Sense, my specialty. Uh, and uh, at the time, uh, I was seeing a lot of uh, coins come back from grading services that were uh, overgraded or misgraded, they were starting to slip in their uh, consistency. So uh, we were seeing coins that should be graded uh, red-brown, for instance, uh, being coming back being graded red. And uh, now, of course, um, you know I understood that those were mistaken grades. But once those get into the marketplace, people don't understand that that coin was misgraded, and uh, that. When they trade hands, they'll trade the hands cheaper. And I, I knew that that would hurt our market, so uh, I 
um, took it upon myself to label the coins that would meet the expectation for the grade. Uh, full red coins being full red uh, with uh, minimal or no spots. Uh, red brown coins that were correctly graded and uh, um, so, and then I made a market in them, uh, which is important too. The um, uh, importance of that uh, grew uh, a after a while and uh, people like John Albanese took, did the same thing with the CAC, of course, on a much bigger scale. I was just doing Indian cents, he did all series. And uh, so that kind of proves that I was on the right track uh, with uh, uh, thinking originally. Uh, and we're still doing it, uh, but still just flying eagles in Indian sense. Uh, people say, well, why don't you do it in Lincoln sense or large sense or buffalo nickels? And I said, well, uh, we just do our small little uh, thing and do that right. So, uh, so that when you see an eagle eye photo seal in an auction or online or something, you can be uh, pretty assured that it's graded correctly and a um, proper coin for the grade. And uh, I've had coins that have come back to me uh, oh, after 20 years, and I would, they still are you know, the same coins that I would say, yes, I, that's exactly what I'm looking for in that grade. Uh, and uh, so that uh, shows consistency over, over time, and it's just been me looking at them, so uh, I haven't changed. <laughs> so, so anyway, thank you.